Welcome to Richard Scale Modeling. This is part 12 of Rebels Vasa Scale is 1 to 150. In part 12, I'll be carrying on with the rigging, and uh, this part I'll see the bulk of the rigging actually getting completed. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. First of all, I'm connecting from the main mast to the mizzen mast, and this is the main stay line that I've got here. I just turn the light on so you can have a, a better look. And like with everything, this is just going to be um, held together with a uh, simple knot to fasten it off. Next we have the uh, some of the back stays. These are the longer lines that uh, go right up to the top of the mast. Now, generally these don't go underneath the uh, cross tree. They go straight from the deck to, to the uh, mast. But the instructions, they put them through the cross tree. So this is what I'm doing. And just tying it off of the top gallant mast onto the royal yard here. I'm weaving it through the, the royal yard as well just to uh, secure that uh, bar because um, I have knocked it off a couple of times now uh, while, while I've been um, rigging. So I just want it to be a little bit uh, secure. Then it's onto the top gallant state, and that's connected from the main cross tree um, up to the royal yard. As you can see there, once more, um, a simple knot to hold it. And like with the mast, I'm securing it to the royal yard so that doesn't uh, come off. Just bringing up the instructions uh, once more to show you about, uh, what part I'm working on now. And this is the top gallant back stay. That it goes onto the um, top cap there, and as you can see, I've already put my threader in there to, uh, to receive the back stay. I know I keep on going on about these things, but um, if you are rig rigging a ship, these little threaders that you find in your song kits are, are really, really good uh, for rigging your ships. It gets into the tightest little corners in order you to pull your um, thread through. Um, once it's in position, I'm just using the tweezers this time to tie the knot. There's not a lot of room up here, so I have to be careful not to knock anything off or um, pull um, any of the other cords um, out of position. position. And if I do that, everything will end up going slack, which um, you, I don't really want to do. And I'll just flip it over so you can see um, how it's progressing. It's always better to get a side view here. I did manage to find some dead eyes in my stores that um, would uh, fit to the proper scale. I was a bit late finding these. I could have uh, done with these at the start of the rigging, but never mind. I've, I've, there's an opportunity here to put some in. Ideally, I would have liked a lot more in, as I said in previous videos, but I only had what I had, and I hadn't found these. These were um, tucked away in the bottom of a drawer. And I was looking for some more cord that I found. Um, I bought them ages ago and completely forgot all about them, which is a shame, but um, uh, at least um, there's a, a couple on here. So um, I'm just starting to put in the main rat lines here now. Um, the, the, the two of the back lines have come together, hence why I'm putting the dead eye in. The actual holes for these are tiny, but even though they're that small, my threader still goes through them to uh, enable me to put the cord through. I would never be able to do this otherwise. Even a need needle head um, would be a little bit too big to fit the cord and go through the actual um, eyelet. So I have two lines going into this, then one uh, then one strand coming off. Well, it's actually two strands, but they're just then um, twisted together to form one and I've simply pushed the dead eye down to the desired um, height that, that I want before cutting off the excess and attaching. And with some of the uh, rat lines I took right up to the um, royal yard and uh, then took the line down to the spanker. Ideally uh, I suppose that you, well there's an argument that it could be made that um, it should have its own separate one it doesn't run uh, through like that but you re really can't tell the difference and why cut off excess when you can utilize it in its proper position anyway 
I have about three lines that need to go down onto the spanker and so each one is going to be from the rat line up to the royal yard and uh, right down to the spanker itself. Each yard has a supporting rig from the mast to the tip of the yard. Again, generally um, you can do this just with a, a single piece of cord but I'm using uh, the, the rat lines to, to do this. It's one of the reasons uh, why I, I left so much excess when attaching the rat lines, just to have it completely running through. Once I've secured it to its proper position, the rat line that is, I, I then can use the excess then to carry on through uh, to, to form other parts of the rigging. This saves a lot of time in knotting up and you don't end up with hundreds of little knots tied up uh, around your uh, mask. Uh, of course, each one of these, well, a lot of them, not each one, should have its own little purely put on. Um, if you've seen my video of the um, USS United States, the Constitution class build, uh, you, you'll see it there where all, all the little pulleys and everything are going on, but it just didn't have any at the scale to do this for this build, so hence why all the knots are getting tied instead. Before I carry on with the rest of the rat lines, I'm just cutting off all the excess which is inside the um, hot, uh, ship on the deck. Now, originally I said I was keeping these uh, to coil it around the, the pins uh, so that to show the excess uh, rope on a ship that is coiled around the pins. I did try to do this off camera, but um, as I suspected, the, it was just too tight and too difficult for such a small scale. I would have I spent about half an hour just trying to do one, and I couldn't get it uh, right. Now, you, you can't make a jig to do, do these coils and place them on, but even then, um, there's little room in there to hang them on to the pin. So, in the end, I, I decided just to uh, snip them off. So onto the to the main rat lines. This bit's a little bit tricky. Um, as you can see, I'm using my threader here, and I because they're all coming up into one area and fanning out. I had to clump them all, all the ends together, and then use my threader to pull them through. There, there's about six to nine uh, on e each one, depending on uh, which one I'm working on of course to do this but the the idea is to pull them all the way through the cross tree and uh, get each line separate so you can see it clearly it is quite difficult to do you, you have to uh, separate the um, strands of, of cord as you go along so they're not all clumped together and once I got them all through the cross tree it was just a matter of then taking the, the remainder up and up the mast, up to the top galley, then tying them off. Each one um, section I, I left um, loose until I done the opposite side so that I can tie both t together. It was then uh, secured with a, a little bit of glue just to keep everything in place. I, I tried not to have some massive clumps of, of rope at the top gallant, so I've got to uh, look a bit unsightly. So I fanned them out uh, a little bit to try and get it a, more flatter um, onto the, the mast. And while I'm doing this, this is where I'll end part 12. I, I won't show you each side again, Don. You, you are, they're all the same. All six sections are, are the same. It's um, just a tank of super work. This took quite a long time to do, in actual fact. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is uh, the bulk of the rigging actually done now. There is uh, one or two little bits to do, but these won't be done until I put the shrouds on. There's a little bit on the bowsprit to do as well, but I won't be doing that until I put the sails on. And yeah, I'm going to be putting cells on, but I'm going to have them furled uh, instead of fully open. It's just going to make it easier for me uh, if I do have them uh, furled. And because it's such a, a small ship as well, I didn't want to add the extra weight onto the to the mass after the uh, mizzen mass snapped off. 
and I repaired it, put on, I'm, I'm not confident the more weight I put on it, these masks will survive. Um, I could use the plastic cells that the kit supply, supplies, but I really don't like them. But I'll go into that in the next video when I start putting the cells on. In the meantime, if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? I'm sure there's something there that may interest you. If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date with all my builds, including this one, of course. Hit that like button. And don't be afraid to leave a comment. I like to hear from you guys. And, uh, of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.